The Northwest Detention Center is a private immigration prison facility located on the Tide Flats of Tacoma, Washington. The detention center opened in 2004 under a contract with the United States Department of Homeland Security. Though owners have changed over time, the facility is now owned by the GEO Group, which operates prison facilities in Australia, the UK, South Africa, the US, and Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. A contract with Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, the largest and primary investigative branch of Homeland Security, expanded the facility's housing capacity to 1,000 detainees, making it the largest detention center owned by the GEO Group on the West Coast. In 2003, ICE launched Operation Endgame, the largest police operation in U.S. history. Its goal? To remove all undocumented migrants in the U.S. by the year 2012. The project's predecessor, Operation Wetback, in 1954 removed 1.2 million Mexicans to the American Southwest. Since July 2007, raids have increased the number of detained migrants from 18,000 to 26,000 nationwide. Homeland Security relocates 700 detainees a week in the United States. Migrants in the facility in the Northwest are mostly from the regions of Oregon, Idaho, Alaska, and Washington. Due to an increase in raids, they've recently come from places like New York, Puerto Rico, and Guam. Nationwide, tens of thousands of children every year lose a parent to deportation. 85% of those detained don't have legal counsel since they do not have a right to due process or protections against unlawful searches or seizures. After raids in the Northwest rounded up hundreds of migrant workers at a time from places like Auburn, Washington and Portland, Oregon, a protest in solidarity with a No Borders Action Camp in Arizona took place in Tacoma at the same time. The march was not focused at the facility itself, which is tucked away unnoticed among shipping terminals and Superfund sites, but at the Wells Fargo Bank building which invests in the GEO Group's operations worldwide. labeled a homeland security threat and policed heavily. Police with cameras and less than lethal weapons intimidated protesters and suggested that local landlords evict the protest organizers from their homes. occupied an intersection for more than 10 minutes, circling from crosswalk to crosswalk until police used force. One woman taking pictures was arrested for spitting on the ground, and then intimidated by police and bystanders. Another was arrested for disarming an officer, though that charge was later dropped. The GEO Group is responsible for running the ICE Detention Center in here in Tacoma. The GEO Group is also responsible for maintaining privatized prisons across the country. The increased incarceration of people of the increased incarceration of immigrant communities and the increased surveillance of activist communities. Just like the Department of Homeland Security calling the Pittsburgh Info Shop a terrorist threat. We are not a terrorist threat. They are the terrorists. They are the ones that are deporting people. They are the ones tearing apart families. They are the ones responsible for the atrocities in Iraq. In front of the Wells Fargo Bank building, another arrest occurred. One of the leader cops told him if the person takes a step forward that they can arrest him and then the person took a step back and the cop grabbed him and uh, drug him away and arrested him. Why are you changing? Hey, hey, hey! As raids at job sites increased over the last years, members in the community seem to have noticed little. As purges in accordance with Endgame increase, the Tacoma activist community is attempting to increase awareness about the facility's proximity and what it stands for. Gentlemen, justice, nothing less than justice will be acceptable. We're going to come to the protest until the facility down there. 